I don't know about you guys, but I made my prom dress this year and I want to show you guys how I did it. I'm going to try my best to give you guys as much information and details about my prom dress as possible because I sold my prom dress literally two weeks before prom and I may have missed some footage or not filmed every step completely so I'm going to try my best if I have missed any footage I'm going to try my best to fill in as much gaps as I can and to make this video as clear as possible so you guys can take some sort of information out of this to create your own prom dress. The first thing I did was to make a circle skirt pattern. I bought 8 yards of stretchy charmeuse and that was enough to make two circle skirts that was 40 inches long. I decided to incorporate a petticoat into my dress for some extra poof and to do this I cut three rectangles of netting of different length. I sewed the two 14 inch netting together and gathered them to the length of the 15 inch netting and sew that to the 15 inch netting. I gathered the 15 inch netting to the bottom of a smaller 11 inch circle skirt and I sewed it right sides together. I bought 25 yards of tulle and 12 yards of nylon and I basically cut as many semi circle skirts as I could from all those yards of fabric. Two semi-circle skirts will be sewn together to make a full skirt. In the end, I managed to get six full tool skirts and three full nylon skirts. I then sew the petticoat layer in between the two circle lining skirts. I then left about 8 inches unsewn for the invisible zipper. I unpicked about 2 inches of the stitches I sewn on the waist and used my sewing machine to only sew the zipper to the outer lining. I attached the petticoat lining and the inner lining to the zipper by hand sewing them separately to the invisible zipper. To hem the lining skirt, simply fold up the bottom of the two skirt twice and sew using a straight stitch. I then attached all 9 layers of the tool and nylon skirt onto the waist of the lining skirt. The 3 nylon skirts should be on top, should be the top 3 layer of the skirt and the tool should be underneath the nylon skirt. I also cut a small slit in the back of the 9 layer mesh skirt for the zipper. For the top, I decided to use this bridemaid's dress I found online for reference. I draped a similar shape onto my dress form and basically traced it onto my fabric. After sewing my mock-up together and trying it on, I traced my final bodice pattern onto a piece of paper.
I cut out four side, back, and front pieces and sew the front and side together like so. I thought about draping some tulle and nylon over the bodice for a romantic look, but it, I ended up not liking it and scraping the idea. So I unpicked my bodice and decided to just directly cut and sew layers of tulle and nylon on it. Each front, side, back pieces have four layers of tulle and four layers of nylon on top. They were then sewn back together like earlier. Attach the lining right sides together to the tool front, like so. Cut notches in the seams to release tension, especially around the v-neck area. Then you're going to understitch the bodice before flipping it right sides out and attaching it to the skirt with a straight stitch. To make some loops for the back of my dress, I basically just made bias tape using my lining fabric and cut them into 2 inch pieces. So the loops onto where you think is fitting on you onto the bodice. I also forgot to mention that two 2 yard straps were sewn into the back of the waistband of the skirt. And that is basically how I made my prom dress. This prom dress was inspired by with Wendy. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did use her wedding dress tutorial to help me make the skirt, and I did use her prom dress tutorial to help me make the back. Even though prom is probably over by now for you guys, I hope you all had a very lovely night whether or not you decided to make your prom dress or just buy one from a store. But either way, I hope this video has Gave you guys some sort of insight on how to make a dress for any kind of formal event. So thank you all so much for watching my video and I hope I'll see you guys next time. Bye!